Hi, I'm Anne and I'm the Community Outreach Coordinator with ProMusica Chamber Orchestra. This is Jenny and she is a clarinetist with ProMusica. Today is our virtual musical story time and we are going to have so much fun. Me, you, Jenny and your grown-up are going to first sing a song and then I'm going to introduce the letter of the day and then Jenny is going to present a show and tell with her clarinet. Finally, we are going to read a story. I'm ready to start, are you? Jenny and her clarinet will be joining us for our sing-along song, Head, Shoulders, Knees and Toes, which is so fun. You should get up and get moving for this song. And I am going to bring along my friend Ginger to help us do this song. Ready? Nice job singing. Now we are going to make it more fun by taking it a little bit faster. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Knees and toes. Great job. Now we are going to do it one more time, super duper fast. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Wow, so much fun. Give your grown up a high five. Now give yourself a high five. Today's letter of the day is W. This is the uppercase W and this is the lowercase W. If you put them side by side, you'll see that the uppercase W is just a little bit bigger than the lowercase W. W makes the w w sound. Can you try? W, w. Nice job. That's W. I am going to show you a few pictures of things that start with W. Do you know what color this is? It's white. White is spelled like this. W-H-I-T-E. White. Now I'm going to show you another picture. Do you know what this is? It's what trees are made of. It's wood. Wood is spelled like this. W-O-O-D. W-W-Wood. Now I'm going to show you a picture of air blowing. Do you know what it is? It's wind. <sighs> wind is spelled like this. W-I-N-D. Now I'm going to turn it over to Jenny so that she can tell you about her woodwind instrument, the clarinet. So this is a clarinet and it's a woodwind instrument because it's made out of wood. You see it's this wooden tube and I play it by blowing into it. So I put wind into it. I change the notes by pressing these holes and these buttons, these beautiful silver keys. And it was actually because of these beautiful silver keys that I wanted to learn to play the clarinet because I like to push all these buttons. The clarinet can play really low 
and really high. So I'm going to demonstrate that with uh, Rhapsody in Blue by George Gershwin. Thank you so much for sharing about your clarinet, Jenny. Now, Jenny and her clarinet are going to accompany our book today, which is a story called Not Quite Snow White. And it's written by Ashley Franklin and it's illustrated by Ebony Glenn. For Tamika, it was always the right time and place to dance and sing. Tamika had a hip-rolling happy dance. A swayful sad dance. A stomping mad dance. Licking just because she felt fabulous dance. She sang high with the tweeting birds and low with the croaking frogs. She always shared her love of music and movement with an audience, stuffed and unstuffed. Tamika loved the stage. It was her perfect place. She was the star of every show, and she loved every show that she starred in. She had been a cucumber. Space cowgirl. A dinosaur. And her favorite part, a singing mermaid. stage, Tamika felt like she could be anything or anyone she wanted to be, but she had never been a princess. Now she would finally have her chance. Tamika was so excited that she went to both days of auditions for the Snow White musical. On the first day, she arrived super early. She helped friends with their lines, kept count for the dancers, and shooed butterflies from nervous tummies so songs could be sung. After the audition, Tamika heard some of the other kids whispering. 
She can't be Snow White. She's too tall. She's much too chubby. And she's too brown. Tamika looked at her legs. They were long. Maybe the kids were right. A princess shouldn't be taller than her prince, should she? She looked at her belly. Maybe what the kids said was true. She could not remember any chubby princesses. Tamika looked at her skin. She was brown. How could a girl with brown skin play a princess like Snow White? Could those kids be wrong? Maybe she was wrong for wanting to be this princess. Tamika slouched and sucked in her belly. She tried pulling down her sleeves, but there was no getting around being brown. For the first time, she did not feel like dancing or singing. At dinner, Tamika didn't tap her feet or clang rhythms with her spoon. Is something wrong? asked her mom. The other kids said I'm too tall, too chubby, and too brown. I'm not right for Snow White, said Tamika. You've got it all wrong, Mom said. You are tall enough, chubby enough, and brown enough to be a perfect princess. Besides, said her dad, Snow White is just pretend. You've always been my real princess. You're just enough of all the right stuff. He kissed her forehead. Tamika smiled. Maybe her parents were on to something. At the audition the next day, Tamika watched all the other kids get on stage and do their best. It was Tamika's turn at last. She remembered what her parents had said, but her long legs were still a little jittery. She closed her eyes and imagined she was singing and dancing for her favorite audience of friends, stuffed and unstuffed. Then she remembered the joy she felt when performing. Tamika knew she could do it. And she did. She shone like the star she was. She could act, 
She could dance, she could sing, she loved herself as much as she loved music and movement. Tamika was a perfectly poised princess. When her audition was over, Tamika looked out to smiling faces. Tamika wasn't too much of anything. Maybe she was just enough of all the right stuff. That was not quite Snow White. What a wonderful story. Jenny and I loved getting to spend some time with you today. Have a musical W-filled day. Maybe you'll get to work on building a tall tower, or you'll get to play in the water on a hot summer day, or listen to a composer named John Williams. Until next time.